Born in a small town some 160 kilometers north of Toronto in 1890, Norman Bethune was recognized as one of the world's best surgeons, a pioneer of medical science of his time. While in China, he remains the only foreigner to ever become a national hero, as written in the essay The Medical Life of Henry Norman Bethune. Few Chinese know the Canadian surgeon by his first name, Norman, because they address him by the Chinese translation of his surname, Bethune, Dr. Bai Chiu En. He was among a group of Westerners who traveled to China in the height of World War II in 1938. Seeing the sufferings on the Eastern Front, Dr. Bethune threw himself at saving lives on the battlefield immediately. Back then, medical aid was scarce in Yan'an, the headquarters of the Chinese 8th Route Army. Dr. Bethune recruited local peasants and trained them to become nurses and doctors, whom he later called barefoot doctors. He also brought mobile medical units to battle zones, effectively reducing the mortality rate of soldiers and civilians. Go to the wounded! Don't wait for the wounded to come to you, said the Canadian surgeon, who insisted on going to the front line against the advice of those who were sincerely concerned about his safety. In one extreme case, Dr. Bethune performed operations for three days and nights without resting under fierce bombing of the Japanese army. His compassion won the respect and love of the Chinese people, who took the Canadian surgeon as one of their own. They worried about him overworking himself and often had to urge him to rest. Unfortunately, just before he was about to go back to Canada for a visit, he cut his finger during one operation and contracted septicemia. Dr. Bethune died on November 12, 1939, 18 months after his arrival in China. In a eulogy dedicated to the Canadian surgeon, Mao Zedong wrote that Norman Bethune's legacy was that of an internationalist. Dr. Bethune's achievements have been celebrated and honored across the world. There are medical institutions named after him not only in Canada, his home country, but also in China, where the Canadian surgeon rests in affectionate memories of the Chinese.